Hey guys, Matt here with Dutch Home Today. Now, one of my first videos I did was a wonderful summer peach pie in a Dutch oven. And I had to do it in a creative manner. I'm going to be repeating that creative manner today for a Dutch apple pie. Why Dutch apple pie? It's a Dutch oven, of course. Gonna add one tablespoon, more or less, of lemon juice. Just gonna kind of keep the apples from browning more. Then give these a toss, clean hands. Break up any chunks you still got. Like that. So this is half a cup of white sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar. To that we're going to add three tablespoons of flour. Now flour isn't huge you can also substitute some tapioca into there instead of your flour it's just a thickening agent to help your you know when the apples put off their juices instead of turning just kind of runny it's going to become kind of a thick sauce now where did i put that oh it's up here i'm gonna add half a tablespoon just eyeball it of cinnamon come on cinnamon help a brother out followed by a dash of nutmeg and I'm just eyeballing that too now I'm gonna mix it up I'm just gonna use a fork because it'll help kind of break up that solid chunk of brown sugar. And you don't want to watch this. We'll be back when that's done. So, here it is all mixed together. And we're moving. And we're walking. We're walking. So now, actually I probably could use a bigger bowl. Oh well. Adding about half. Using my spoon. Give this a stir. Make sure to get the apples that are all the way on the bottom. Add a 
little more. And we're just going to keep repeating until everything is together. Oh, yeah. Ah, keep that in frame. So, we are back. And I'm just going to pour it right into this pre-prepared pie crust. I put it in my heaviest duty. It's not really a pie pan. It's like an 8-inch cake pan. But I think it'll hold up better in the way we're going to be cooking with it. Now, obviously, this is not my Dutch oven. And if you haven't seen my peach pie video, we're actually going to be using my Dutch oven as an oven. And just cooking this like a traditional pie. So there's that. Now we got to prepare our Dutch apple topping for our Dutch oven apple pie. This is three quarters cup of flour. Reach across the camera. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of white sugar and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Go ahead and pack your brown sugar. Now, using my fork again, I'm going to mix this all together, and then we'll be right back with the next step. Okay, to our mixture, I'm just going to add a small dash of cinnamon, small-ish, I guess. Mix that in, just lightly. Okay, we've got a third a cup of Mostly, you know, room temperature butter. It's still a little cool, but it'll still work just fine. You just don't want a refrigerator temp. You want it nice and, you know, at least pliable enough to easily mix into our mix. I'm just going to cut it into little pats, biggish pats, I guess. And then I'm just going to cut this in. And once it's, you know, quartering each of these, and then we're just going to mash it right into our flour mixture. And we want it to look kind of like crumbs. Again, this is going to take a minute or two. So I'll just do this off camera and show you what it looks like when we're done. So there it is, it looks kind of like uh, breadcrumbs. So we're going to come on over to our pie and we're just going to freely, probably be better if I did it so you could see, I'm just giving a nice coating. All right, so we're gonna give it, this is gonna be nice and thick. I like this topping a lot, so I don't care if it's a lot. It's gonna be even better, thicker the better. There we go. Now, I've got charcoal preheating, and we'll go ahead and set up our Dutch oven for baking in a second pan. So I've made a few thin strips of foil and I'm just crumpling them into kind of a about half to three quarter inch thick little tube. And now these are going to go in the bottom of my Dutch oven. And then it will allow us to uh, keep the pie pan up off the bottom of the Dutch oven, allowing for airflow around, which was going to be a lot like um, a normal oven. So let's set these up. I've given this, oops, get my lid out of the way. I've given a light coat it needed just kind of to reseason just a little bit. I'm going to set these up. You can set them up however you want. Triangle. Yeah. 
center, you know, points together, you know, kind of rough triangle as well. We just want to do it for airflow. So the heat on the bottom and the top can circulate around the pie pan in the Dutch oven. And I'm going to carefully place this in. Okay, just like that. We'll add our lid back. And now let's go add some heat. So guys, I had to let this cook about an hour at roughly 375. I had a miss up, a miss up, a mess up with my coals. So it didn't get quite as hot as it needed to. But that is still a dang sexy looking apple pie. I am going to enjoy this. Yeah. Oh man, it smells awesome. This, the kind of crumble topping didn't quite get cooked all the way. Um, but my coals are at the point where they're not given enough heat. If I want, I might toss this in my kitchen oven in the broiler just for, you know, two minutes. Just really crisp up that apple, you know, that streusel topping. Otherwise, this baby looks ready to roll. And, you know what? I'm going to ask my wife, but we might have dessert first. Also, removing this from the pan, something like vice grips or pliers work well. If you actually grab it. Mostly because I've kind of burned my hand a couple times trying to get this, you know, the pie out. So, I'm going to enjoy this. So guys, here it is. I don't know if it's coming in camera. A la mode. No other way to eat a good pie. But let's give this a shot. It smells amazing. It looks great. Mmm. Wow. That is the way an apple pie is supposed to taste. Boom! I will include the recipe in the description wherever it is, you know. And we're hoping to see you guys tomorrow. Never miss an opportunity to improve yourselves.